Houston, <laughs> we have a problem. Only a few people realize what it means to have a problem when you are in an enclosed and capsule like a spacecraft. The problem namely is there's no alternative. There's nothing beyond. And so where on earth we believe well, we'll fix it. The astronaut has a different view. He says we and something will fix it. We need some luck, some other spacecraft, something because which what we have now is going to be finished. As an astronaut you feel excluded to a particular group of people and uh, those are the people which have the majority. <laughs> they are you, not being aware of the danger in which you live. But now suppose I'm going to change all of you. Suppose I can transfer the experience which I have to, to you. Then you would go out and see the earth and you would see the blue sky. Not the blue sky which you see when you're outside. The space you see that you're the only one. You're the only planet. You have no spare. And so you have to take care of this one and only planet. We need to conserve our own planet. And you, when you have like say the spirit and the, and the inside and the attitude of an astronaut. You start to love the earth in a way other people can't. And if you really love something, you don't want to lose it. You know, my wife, <laughs> she doesn't want to lose me. She wants to do everything so she has to stay alive. That's the love and attitude which humankind should get to the earth. We, we people coming from the same molecules out of one bloody strong star which bursted out. We who have developed over billions of years life Life is made by we, we humanity are so strong that we can save the earth, but we also can destroy it. Even a small thing does something. <laughs>